many people feel that IT asset data is really just a spreadsheet of all the various assets you have across your organization. But it's actually much better than that, especially when you link it with your existing problem and incident management solution. Let me show you a couple quick examples of how to work with that in SolarWinds Service Desk. We'll start off by going to Inventory and then Computers. Let's go ahead and just pick one of these at random. So let's go ahead and look at BKing's laptop. We can see real quickly in the asset details that this is a Mac laptop with a specific asset ID. And even more so in the user details, we can see it's assigned to Bruce King and it's part of our US IT asset management. And all of that information is interesting, but let's go ahead and look at the life cycle. So up at the top, we'll click on life cycle. And here are the cases. You can see that on March 8th, it was assigned to Bruce King. The help desk had some work done on it. It was assigned to a specific asset management group, and then it was assigned out to Brenda Harris. And that's the history for this specific asset. But let's say you need to take that information and actually bind it to a service request. So we'll go to our service desk. We'll look at our incidents. So let's say we have this incident where someone can't connect to the Wi-Fi. So we can go to can't connect to Wi-Fi. We can look at all the related cases. New computer request, can't connect to Wi-Fi, laptop still won't connect. Looks like we have some type of wireless problem, but we don't have any devices connected to this. So let's go ahead and do attach a configuration item. We'll search for King and we'll add in B King's laptop. Now we've bound this IT asset information to the incident and the two together can actually give us a better life cycle. So if we go and look at the life cycle on this particular device, we'll see that there were multiple times where someone was having a problem getting connected to Wi-Fi. And that may lead you to a solution that maybe there's a bad driver or perhaps there's some bad firmware out there. But really the most important part of this is to get that full life cycle view of any IT asset. Once you have that, you can do a better job at supporting all of your end users. <laughs>